sign of growth. The thrifty market fills a big gap for a lot of people in the neighborhood. As Mike Garber reports, this is not just any market, and the owner's goal is more than just making money. One day, Casey Powell drove by this market and saw that it was vacant. He decided that since the community didn't have a market, and since many residents had to travel 10 or 15 blocks to buy food, it was worth risking the $140,000 he had to put up to get it started. In the first three days, business has been tremendous. Casey says people are they're paying five, six, seven, eight dollars to ride up to Giant, up to Jay's, or over to Bob's to get the groceries. I'm in an area where there are five major apartment complexes, and uh, all of them can walk up, walk up down here to my store. And uh, right there, that's seven dollars they can put on their table instead of giving it to the cab company. Casey says the business is somewhere between a supermarket and a convenience store. It caters to all types of people, but especially to the Hispanic and black communities, offering a variety of special ethnic foods. Casey is especially proud of his meat department. He says the market offers prices competitive with any supermarket. Residents say they're glad to finally have a place to shop in their neighborhood. I feel so happy because, you know, it's close to my house that I, have to, I don't go too far, you know. A lot of people around here, you know, they don't own cars or anything like that. And it's just, you know, more or less down, down the street, you know, so, you know, they can walk down, pick up what they need, you know, go home without, without too much of a hassle. But in addition to serving the needs of the people who live around here, the market also provides additional jobs for the area and helps the economy of the entire community. Mike Garber.